Well, I stopped doing reviews on newer games because on Windows 8 because basically they all run fine. But this is a review of Bioshock Infinite on the Lenovo Yoga 13. Uh, mine's an i5 with, uh, I put in an extra memory, it's got 8 gig, but it doesn't really make that much difference. All the settings automatically came up as low when I went to run it, but then I decided to um, go in there and tweak them. And they, there was one other setting that just went to ultra low and uh, they're all at their very lowest settings basically. And as you can see here, I still get nice graphics, I still get the smoke effects, I do get the, all these different kind of looks and shadowing and all that stuff. Maybe not perfectly, but you can see the waving of the stuff and the flare of the lights and everything, that everything looks pretty dang good. So what we're going to do is go outside here because of course the true test is a uh, action sequence, so we're, so we're going to cut to that here real quick. So we go outside and there's uh, quite a few uh, enemies out here, so more artifacts are being drawn, more things have to be tracked, and as you can see the visual effects are fine, smoke, the cloud, the, all the things are working perfectly fine. It may not be the uh, true gamer experience where you want to have uh, everything out to ultimate high, but for a laptop experience when you're on the road, you want to play a little bit in the room after a hard day at work or at the seminar you're at, uh, why not? The uh, Bad news is, of course, that Bioshock, even like a lot of newer games, uh, has a pretty big footprint at 17 gig, not as much as Max Payne, but it works perfectly fine on the Lenovo. Conversely, the Windows 8.1 uses less disk space than 8.0, so you get a little bit back there. So enjoy your Bioshock Infinite on your Lenovo Yoga 13. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. We have over 100 Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 videos, and we're publishing more all the time.